to talk about it in our songo, in our wagamau, in our soputu, somate, uh, in our sirinisudu. We're supposed to continue to talk about and be boastful about the God that we serve. That's not pride. That's not arrogant. That is determination. That is boldness. And that is confident in Him. I'm confident of the God that I serve. I'm confident to stand up and to lead NCF, to lead New Methodists and talk about Jesus, the God that we serve. And that's why we always march on the street to tell the people that our youth are like this because of Jesus. We are growing because of Jesus. We are who we are because of Jesus. Not because of pride, not because of arrogance. We want to encourage one another. We want to encourage one another that God is alive. God is here. God is with us. God is operating in every situation of our life. And I believe that's why it's very, very important for us to speak up the God that we serve. We speak up of the God that we serve. We talk about the God that we serve. And that is what we call sowing. When you speak about, about the God that we serve and expect the God that you serve to be on you all the time. The more you talk about him, the more you share him, the more uh, uh, that you boast about him. And the more I believe, the more that he'll be with you. When you have a small problem, he'll be there. A middle problem, he'll be there. A bigger problem, he'll be there. Why? Because you continue to talk about him. You, talk, you continue to share about him. That's why I always share, I always tell new men that this Christian fellowship, always, you like and share. Because when you share, it's just like you preaching. And if you are watching this afternoon, by sharing this, this teaching, by sharing this program, it's just like the reward will come. You are part and parcel of the reward. Why? Because you are sharing. You are sharing the word. You are sharing the encouragement. You are sharing the principle of God that Paul was talking about. Not only the preacher, not only me, not only the teacher. No, everybody who part participate. So when you share and share and share, somebody down the line, they need the word of God. And when they receive, the reward will come to everybody that participates. Okay. Let us go to the left side. When somebody talk about somebody, gossip or slander about somebody, and you also share, and you also like, hallelujah, the negativity, eh, the curses of that lies, of, of that slandering, of that bickering, will also come to you. Hallelujah. So I'm challenging us today. When the Bible talks about he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, because God loves a cheerful giver. I want to be cheerful whenever I preach the word of God. I want to be cheerful when I share the word of God. I want to be cheerful when I visit people, pray for people. I want to be cheerful. Why? Because God loves a cheerful giver. 